This is Juliana Aranikar Breeze in Cartagena, and this is part two of my conversation with Ted. Uh, Ted, tell me how you got into humor. I know that your passion is to make people laugh. Can you tell me about how that started? Well, uh, to begin with, uh, I'm Jewish. And I think all Jews are blessed with a certain sense of humor uh, because sure. they've been persecuted for centuries. So, I really enjoy making people laugh any which way I can because uh, I believe that I never heard anyone dying laughing. Sure, you can die laughing, but that to die laughing, I never heard of it. So I think it's the best medicine. They do say laughter is the best medicine. Absolutely true. Yeah. Actually, when you're laughing, you can't feel pain. Did you know that? That's right. Yeah. Your brain is affected. That's right. I believe that. And it's very relaxing for me because it works just, it, it feed back to me and it makes me happy. So it's a trade-off. But you, you had the experience of being in the golden era of the Catskills. Yes. When I got out of the service, I bought a car, a convertible, beautiful, brand new car. How old were you at the time? 22. Okay, and what year or what era would that be, roughly? Uh, in the 19... Uh, 50s, 55, okay, 56, okay. and then I, uh, I met a lot of famous people, Jerry Lewis and, and uh, Eddie Fisher, oh, yeah, you remember yeah. him? But they were all at the Catskills. Yes, they okay. went there for the summer. Yes. So did I, yes. as a waiter. That's right. And uh, had a brand new car, so I attracted a lot of people. And it was fun. And my mother lived not far from there, so I lived with her for the summer. Okay. And then I went back to New York City, uh, where I uh, was born, really, in Brooklyn, but stayed in Brooklyn until I was 20 years old and never went back. Anyway, uh, after that, I, uh, I lived next door to a man who owned a beauty salon. And he came to me and said, Ted, you're so glib, you should be in the beauty business. So he gave me a job while I went to beauty school. And I, on Saturdays, the busiest day, I was doing 100 shampoos a day, possibly making more tip money than the seven hairdressers that I worked for. And then he came to me one day and said, Ted, I have a friend in Copenhagen who wants to send someone here. So why not make a trade-off? You go to Copenhagen and, and learn about haircutting and for two years. Let's get back to the humor because you, you oh, mentioned yeah. this in yeah. part one. Yes, okay. Humor is a natural thing with me because I love it and I love to make people laugh. And, and uh, basically it was the start of me thinking about funny one-liners. And these one-liners really worked for me because it took up my spare time and I wrote them on a computer. Uh-huh. When, when I... Uh, Can you give a few examples? Oh, yes. I, I wrote uh, very thoughtful things, things that would make people really think. Right. And one of them was a four-word one-liner called Concentrate on your resilience. How tough do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it really gets you to think about yeah. the tough times you went in your life, you had in your life. And uh, it's something that very few people think about. And I remind them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to... But that's to, not humor. No, it's not humor. Come on, make me laugh. I'll make you laugh. Go on then. Uh, uh, a very funny one I wrote <clears throat> is uh, masturbation is very good for you for at least you're doing it with someone you love that's a good one yes oh I love yes. that one yes <laughs> another one is uh, a, 
a best friend, a woman's best friend is a brazier. Never lets her down. Hard to find a comfortable one. Uh, and about seven other things that most women identify with. Uh, another one is a, a friendship uh, is not words, are not words, and deeds. A friendship is deeds, not words. That's, mm -hmm. that's how I put it. Mm -hmm. And that's very thoughtful mm -hmm. because uh, people uh, think that if you meet someone, they're immediately your friend. No. Of course not. It goes way beyond that. And it, it gets into a relationship. And relationships are based about doing what you say. Walk your talk. Yeah, because it's the first step to a trust. And that's what relationships are based on. And I started writing a lot about that. Mm -hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, later on, in, uh, I had two children, and I introduced them to it. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you don't do what you say, there's a consequence. And one of them tested me, and I said, the consequence will be next Thursday at 5 o'clock. And when next Thursday at 5 o'clock came, I pretended I forgot. Because the punishment was from Tuesday to Thursday, the mental punishment. What is he going to do mm -hmm. in that time? And what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> they never did it again because they realized that it was mental punishment. Mm -hmm. Another one I wrote was a definition of jealousy. I have about seven definitions of jealousy in my book. And one of them is fascinating and I, I really like. Jealousy is mental cancer. Yeah. That's another good one I will never forget. And uh, your book, you're, you're working on your book. You've, uh, you, what's going to be the title of your book? It's going to, going to be Ted Bits. Oh yeah, that's right, Ted Bits. Yes. Very good. And you and said you've got about 40,000 yes, of these 40, one-liners? Yes, 40,000 entries that I've made. I cover many different subjects. Yes. And one of the very interesting subjects is the last words that famous people said before they died. Oh. And the best one, I thought, was Humphrey Bogart. Oh. Humphrey yeah. Bogart was uh, a known alcoholic, and he died at 57 years old. And the last thing he said, last words he said, was, I knew I shouldn't have changed from martinis to scotch. <laughs> In fact, I have, I forgot the exact words, but I have the last words that Jesus said. And the last words that at least 50 different famous people oh, what said. Did, what did Jesus I say? I forgot. You forgot? Oh, Jesus. They were interesting. <laughs> well, we'll continue in part three. Okay. okay. Thank you, Ted.